Ladies and gentlemen, it's real cinematic around here right now. I know how I'm feeling. We're back. That's right, Nerd Generation and AK News collaboration. But this one's a special one. This is a special report. We're talking about the Zack Schneider Justice League 2021 cut. Or whatever they're going to call it. But they're not calling it release the Snyder cut. They can't call it anymore. HBO Max owns the title. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, do yourself a favor. Go to that button that says subscribe. Click on it, subscribe, so you can keep up with all the fun, excitement, dramatic. New Generation AK News. We're going to bring in the maestro, the conductor, the captain running the ship. Ladies and gentlemen, Pablo, say it twice a lot. Pete, what's going on? Hey, man, what's going on? Man, what's going on is what's going up, what's going left, what's going right. That's right. This thing hit like a this thing hit like a thunderclap. Yeah. But you know what? We said what we said over on AK News. But I didn't really get into it. Because it was too late at night. But I think I'm gonna get into it now. I'm gonna get my feet wet. I'm gonna get the water all the way up my knees. I got a lot to say about it. I've been holding back. I've been holding on. Because a lot of cats out there have been saying some wild stuff on the internet. Man, yeah. you guys must be crazy. As they always oh, said, a failure's a failure. Did he just, I'm going to say it right now, let's get it on. A failure's a failure. Let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, despite what was instigated, agitated, and pronounced by the loyal fans of a failed project, the Zack Snyder Justice League director's cut 2021 HBO Max, Super Max Prison, I don't know, whatever the hell you want to call it. Ladies and gentlemen, this, this, this project was not greenlit due to the begging, pandering, obnoxiousness, or damn right tomfoolery of people who for some reason, and P, you come in here, because I'm giving him this walkway. For some reason, I get about Josh Whedon. I get about the two different visions. I get about the two different directors. I get about the two tones. I get about the different lightings. I get about uh, Henry Cavill's goddamn mustache that he may have to wear for a great movie that he did with Tom Cruise. That's all I'm going to say. That movie was great. So if you guys don't like that, up your nose with a rubber hose. Uh, what point do we get with the acknowledgement that all three movies up until his quote five movie arc was not accepted by the majority of the public? Ladies and gentlemen, you hear a lot of exhaling. There's a lot of exhaling when you say this topic. I mean, I'd have to say we understand all the different reasons as to why people want this movie to be released or wanted this movie to be released now is going to be released on HBO Max which I had stated quite some time ago that this was the only course of action that HBO or WB needed to take to re-release it into the theaters would have been been a mistake a huge mistake oh no we can't put this in the movie theaters um why because it failed before Obviously, we know that the movie is not finished. That's why they're giving them 20 to 30 mil to get it done. I'm possibly thinking it's going to probably cost a little more. But I think the frustration, the anger, and the demand of people wanting to see the Zack Snyder cut has to do with how WB handled Zack Snyder. It was wrong how they did it, when they did it. Well, you know what, P? You know what? You should have fired him. You should have just fired him. You should have just fired him then. Before you even start on Justice League. Right? Don't fire him or get rid of him in the way that they did it. Yeah. They did it in a messed up way. And you can tell by Zach's tweets and his leaks. Wow. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. These movies are funny. It's about five years now. His fellow actors who have voiced their support for Zach. I understand 
now. I, I don't understand people telling me that Justice League was dope or that ba or that BVS was dope. BVS was not dope. BVS was not dope. Is this going to make it better? Is his cut going to make it better? I don't know. I already didn't like where it was going. I watched it because I'm a fan. Outside of that, hey, it's not a great film. What are they doing? What is Warner Brothers doing, P? What is Warner Brothers doing? They're trying to recoup their money? You just gave him another 20 million. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know math. 20 to 30 million. 20 to 30 million. 20 to 30, listen, 20 to 30 more in debt. I have yet to have a conversation with someone who can explain to me or give me that moment of clarity as to why you liked this movie. I have yet to have a conversation with someone who is capable of telling me that, yes, that's a good aspect of that film. And this is with BBS and Justice League, because there are people out there who probably did enjoy Justice League and people out there who probably did enjoy BBS. There were some great scenes, but overall... And that's been being said for the last three years. Can you tell me why you like this movie? Uh, 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 uh. And why some people might have their uh, likes and just like, hey, hey, listen, everybody got likes. Hey, what's that quote? I'll quote that scene from uh, from Boogie Nights. Hey, I don't care what a man does. Man want to go home, put a little peanut butter up his nose. That's his business. I cleaned that up, boys and girls. I love that scene. That scene is that, that scene is cinema classic. I don't care what a man does, but then like the, but getting to the point, everybody likes what they like. There's a couple of soap operas still on the air. How is that possible? Some people like it. You and I may not watch it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the exhale count is now up to six. The exhale account is now up to six. Dudes is ready to throw down. Throw down in the street. Throw down at the cons. Dude, you know you know him or something? What? You know him? Ladies and gentlemen, if Stanley Kubrick can take criticism, see, I just messed y'all up. I just messed y'all up. You can call me you can call me a cinephile. Yeah. yeah. If Stanley Kubrick can take yeah. criticism. Yeah, but see, the, this is the, again, this is the thing. They, the film that they got, wasn't the film that was supposed to be released. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why we had got to that point, I like talking business. The reason why we got to that point, ladies and gentlemen, is because there was a time limit. The clock had start. The stopwatch. We're on the clock. Why? Guess what? The end was coming. A little company called AT&T was trying to buy Warner Brothers and Time Warner. Now, I don't know if you guys don't know how it works. If you're currently the head honcho anywhere, when someone is coming to gobble you up, acquire you, or as they say, absorption, whatever nice adjective you want to use, guess what? You more than likely will be given a package and you're going to be told to leave. And whatever projects you're working on, that's the last project you will be paid for. That got canned or relieved or whatever you want to call it. We could be nice. That got relieved because AT&T was coming. FCC was about to approve it. You're a head honcho over there. You ever had produce over there? You get your you get your projects ready, wrap a bow on them. Let's get them out. Get them on a the conveyor belt. Let's get out of here. Cause you don't know what's coming. So now relaying that over to the fans, your man BVS failed. They're gonna cut him anyway. Hey, AT and T is coming. They probably won't keep you because I don't know how you guys know about this fan. It's in the red. His vision is in the red. They're gonna get you. Oh, know that for sure. They are upset. And AT&T is coming in, and when you purchase something, sometimes there's going to be losses. There's going to be a loss, but we're not going to continue with the loss. 
So after the smoke dissipates or the wind blows or whatever, those producers, even the president, the former president of Warner Brothers, is gone. Ladies and gentlemen, do you understand what I'm saying? All of those people that were there during the first initial time when the thing happened with Zach and they wanted to let him go after the BVS cabacle and the Wonder Woman success and then the BVS cabacle. The BVS cabacle came first. No, Wonder Woman came first and that was a sense. Then BVS came and then that went straight through the floor. So what happens is AT&T's come in, wrap this up, put a bow, let's get our money and let's go. And that's exactly what happened. It had nothing to do with his vision or whatever. It wasn't, tell me if I'm wrong, it wasn't personal. But your last project failed. You're about to get some new owners. And if you guys want to argue with me and say, well, what do you mean it fell? I liked it. Once again, it's not about what you like. I keep saying this. It's about the box office. I love a lot of stuff. But if the box office is not there, it's not there. I did, I did shows about how... And I'll bring them up again. Guillermo del Toro took Scary Stories for only 21 bucks, and he made 130 bucks. You got 21 bucks, and then you give it to me, and I give you back 130 bucks. Hello? Pacific Rim, on the, on the edge, it made it profitable. But guess what? They didn't want to do Pacific Rim 2, and Guillermo didn't do it. They bought it somebody else. That movie didn't make budget. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a business. Hollywood, it's a business. Zach got caught up in what happened. And it seems like to me, you tell me, Pete, the fans of released the Snyder Cut, what part of this are you not getting? It's like you don't hear this. They're telling you what happened. And you can't even rant and rave because all of those people at Warner Brothers are gone. Like it's, it's like those old westerns or those old Twilight Zone movies. You walk back in the room and ain't nobody in there. Like, what the heck happened? But the film that they got is about guys who just want to wrap this thing up and get the heck out of here. That's what you got. I just got to wrap this project up because this is going to be the last project before AT&T takes over. I'm sorry, guys, if we're putting the uh, corporate spin on this, but this is exactly what happened. Yeah. I'm not here to sell you you know, magic water. This is what happened. It wasn't personal. Yeah. It wasn't personal. Your project failed. And not for nothing, and let, now let's start getting personal. Not for nothing, Zach, you were given a, 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 a hell of an opportunity. Me personally, you personally, I would have rather see Bruce Tim and James Robinson and the boys head up the DC Universe. Of course. Of see? course. And but I, I guess sure we're not supposed it, to say it, that. We're not supposed to say that. At this point, I believe that he probably was approached and didn't want it because WB was going to meddle anyway, right? Who knows? Because the, the answer is right there, right? It's obvious to everyone else who, who, who knows what's going on that Bruce Tim is successful at what he does and has been successful. Bruce Tim and that crew, Kevin Feige, should thank their lucky stars that they weren't called. It had been a wrap. I don't, I don't get it. All you have to do it. is look at the uh, Justice League Cartoon Network show. And I'm not looking at, we're not talking about the animation, boys. Again. We're not talking about that. We're looking at the structure of these characters. Yes. On complete point, every single character, perfect. Yeah. From Dark Side. Story, everything. To even his, his henchman, Mannheim. Ladies and gentlemen. These guys are great. Yeah. And you really pass them over these characters were. to let Zack Snyder do a five picture arc deal where he's going to kill off Batman, make Superman somebody who you don't even know. Wonder Woman was being introduced, okay. The jury is out on his uh, picking of Ezra Miller as the Flash. And I'm being nice right now. Cyborg safe. There's never been yes. a cyborg. That's safe. And he was good. Jason Momoa, you lucked out. You hit a home run. Why? Yeah. There is no other interpretation. Last time Aquaman was on TV was 1960. He came on Saturday mornings on the uh, Hanna-Barbera. No, Filmation. Excuse me. 
Filmation, love filmation. And now, and, and now Superman is the joke. Now Superman has to be, the, yeah, <laughs> Superman has to be rebuilt, and Aquaman makes a bill. Yeah. This goes into point about what we said about Edgar Wright, Ant-Man, and all the creators who want to come in, take these characters, make their movies, and then split and leave the studio yeah. with a mess. Yeah, yeah, no. When you're at Marvel, you're Oh, no, 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 no. None of this is happening. None of it. None of the nonsense. And I notice, I know, we know people who have vocally said, I can't work over there. Not even about, dude, not even about superhero characters. They said, oh, I can't work at Marvel, no. I can't do it over there. Yeah, because you can't do what you want over here. Cash my check and then split. No. No, you can't. Do you think Ben comes back? Thank you. I'm glad you brought up this question. Come back, do new scenes to do what? Ask me, Zach still just wants to finish his five-picture arc. Does that help the current DC universe with Shazam, no. Aquaman, and Wonder Woman, and, and the new well, Suicide Squad, and Harlequin? Would Zach's vision fit in with those other? No. So how are you gonna do that? How are you gonna what do I'm that? seeing, what I'm seeing from Warner Brothers is they're establishing who's doing what, especially with the name, the Zack Zack Snyder's Justice League. Hey, Pete, he's not, the, isn't he's not, JJ, he's not Warner Brothers. Isn't JJ he's doing Green Lantern? Yeah. Isn't JJ yeah. doing Green Lantern? I can't bring Zack in here. No. Not that five picture. That's separating it. That's why it's going on HBO Max. That's how we can't. What we're doing in the films and in the movie theaters is not what Zach did. Zach is going to be on HBO Max. There will be no films. So you basically unless you, it's on HBO Max. So you basically you're saying I'm cutting it off. It, that that universe, that parallel pocket thing, you're cutting it off. That Zach universe is on the HBO Max, similar to how they. Uh, treat the CW characters on the CW. Okay. They're not in the films. Okay. They're in their own thing, and Zack Snyder's Justice League will be in their own thing on HBO Max. Ladies and, and gentlemen, you heard it here. Who, you heard it here. And everybody who wants you heard it, here, Nerd Generation. they're going to have to pay. You heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. Nerd Generation. And I got to give a shout out to a former uh, co-worker of mine. Uh, he stated and I agreed because I was thinking it already, but he said it first, so I got to give it up to him for saying it, that if Zack Snyder's Justice League um, becomes a huge success for HBO Max, they will proceed to try to possibly uh, continue it to uh, see Zack Snyder's whole vision uh, of what he intended for the audience to see. So I got to give it up to him. And I, I and I, one hundred percent agree with that. He just broke it down. You heard it here. <laughs> Get your pen and paper. Write in the comment section. Yeah. Go go um, off, yell and scream, yeah. kicking kicking, throw bottles. <laughs> but he hit it right on the head. <laughs> and that's why, ladies and gentlemen, I have to throw in the fact that J.J. Abrams is launching a Green Lantern series. I can't bring Zach in here. Zach. Universe ends, P, say it, in two more movies. Yeah. It's over. How am I supposed to do? Yeah. If they well, decide yeah. to go that far. Because what's supposed to happen? Batman dies, right? I mean, Batman dies. We don't know what happened with Kal-El. We don't know what Wonder <laughs> Woman does. We don't know what happens to the Flash. And what was it? Lois is the key. It's because Darkseid kills Lois. And, and well, Listen. JJ's doing a Green Lantern TV series. I can't have that the Earth is in K. I, I can't mix the two universes. They, hey, Pete, the universes don't mix. So basically, Zach wrote himself out of any type of continued existence. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you get here. That's what you get here, ladies and gentlemen. That's why you listen. He wrote himself out. And that was on purpose. I ain't no Kevin Feige. 
you can't even duplicate the story arc that Bucky and the Falcon had in the ten years being in the MCU. You're even not you're not even on that level. Because that's how good those two story arcs have been. I'm not even gonna talk about the heavy hitters. You can't even do Falcon and Bucky. And Falcon and Bucky ain't over. And look how much history they got. Yeah. We throwing it down here, ladies and gentlemen. We breaking it down. This is this is the this is the retort. This is the pushback. Yeah. Now, this thing is broken up into yeah. segments. Well, I mean, hey. I, are let, you gonna watch? I'm somebody gonna watch. send it to me. And if they tell me, if you tell me, Trey, <laughs> I'm gonna watch. And you know, I call myself Trey in third person. Trey, if you don't tell me the first half hour ain't the same first half hour from the movie, I don't want to hear it. So when is the extra? Hey, where's the twenty million? Uh, because I've seen all the deleted scenes. I've seen Kal-El walking through, getting his black costume over the. I've seen that already. Well, they said that uh, we've only seen. A well, twenty million don't cut it, Pete. Twenty million don't number, cut so it. I need money to finish this thing a certain way. You know that. Twenty mil. That's ten minutes of the Hulk. Yeah. Well, I mean, come on. CGI listen. costs money. And then how you bringing these back? Who you bringing back? Who you bringing back? What I'm expecting from Zach in this is that he's had enough time to perfect whatever flaws. He uh, he encountered with the previous films. He's had to. See, that to, guy, don't, listen, that uh, guy don't. That guy ain't changing a certain way. He, he that guy don't he change. Spent a that long guy time. don't change. He spent a long time on this. Yo, he gave. Yeah, he gave us Watchmen, yo, and Watchmen was a good. That film. guy don't change, Pete. I understand what you're saying. Usually, if you don't bend with the Watchmen. wind, you break. That guy don't change, man. He's like, every auteur, yeah. I'm going to do it my we'll way. And see. if you don't like it, they throw stones. We'll see. Oh, they're going to throw stones, all right. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the only, person, only people he can get mad at is the general audience. And then basically, they're the, they're the, they're, they're the money. So if the money don't want to come to you, they're, they're, I, I don't know. What do you want me to tell you? How dare they not like your stuff? How dare they don't get you? How dare you take Superman and make him a character who we don't even know who this is? Who is this? Yeah, yeah, and those th- and, and those problems will still exist oh, yeah. in these films, and hence that I may not yeah, enjoy them that the much same, more. The same negative things that you didn't like are still going to be there. I mean, what are we what are we talking about here, boys and yeah. girls? I listen, not once, yeah. nerd generation, or we don't tell anybody what to like. Were you kidding me? I'll watch North by Northwest, every Northeast, Northwest. Are you kidding me? I love Cary Grant. Yeah. You know the way walk Cary Grant walks into the room. You know the way the way. Cary, listen, I love Cary Grant. You don't like it too bad. I love Cary Grant. The way he walks, ginger, ginger, ginger. I mean, listen. But, but you know what? And I want to say this to be clear. It's not even about the movies. It's about the characters. They are they want Batman. That Batman wasn't Batman. I'm sorry. Yeah, Batman, sure wasn't. Superman wasn't Superman. Had they been who they could have been, were, awesome. who they are, I, we would have enjoyed it much more. Bruce Tim. That's all Bruce, it is. Tim, That's Bruce, all it really Tim, is. Bruce Tim. Bruce Tim. What are you saying? Bruce Tim's a genius. James Robinson's a genius. And, and by the way, fellas, I love you guys. We got a hashtag on this one. You guys are geniuses. Ladies and gentlemen, we would Bruce already Tim, have... Bruce, Bruce Tim would have to go to them. Bruce Tim would have to go to them and say, you want me to take care of this? Damn straight. I'm CEO, oh, Chief Creative Officer. I want the title that Kevin Feige <laughs> had. Give me that title. <laughs> straight up. Straight up. I don't got to prove myself. Should, Look yeah, at my track should, record. I don't got to prove Look nothing. Look at my track record. I don't got to prove nothing. You know what I'm saying? Give me give me, give me, me the baton and get the hell out the way. Thank you. And just keep writing the check. And that's And it. what? Write the check. Yep. I was watching another fellow podcaster. 
and they, I won't give, I won't give it away. She went off she. on Henry Cavill. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. The failure of Justice League, while Ben Affleck seemed to have just uh, took a... To, no, I ain't going to do that. Ben Affleck seemed to have just do what he had to do, and he got over it. Henry took it badly. He never agreed with the vision. This other podcaster went out their way to make it seem like Henry was on the outs, and they really didn't like him, the rest of the cast, and mm -hmm. Momoa, and, and these guys didn't like she him. She said that? Because he, yes, she did. I'll, I'll send you the, listen, let me tell you something. Looking back, I don't blame Henry for being upset yeah. because this is not who he thought Superman was okay. either. So I only brought this up because no matter what, people are still going to take sides on this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, we sat over at ACAT News. This ain't over. This is just beginning. Sides are forming behind this. Yeah. Now, what is this? Listen, you, you know, boy, I can't get a Flash movie. Cyborg was supposed to get a movie. Not. Shazam got a movie before The Flash? Yep. And and The Flash has a number one TV show. Back then, he has a number one TV show, and I can't get a Flash movie? Yep. Is there something wrong here? Yep. Henry Cavill, I felt that he wasn't uh, possibly, I, I just didn't think this role was for him after seeing him in Man of Steel, BVS, and Justice League. And after seeing The Witcher, I changed my perception of that whole situation. Why? Because... The, he, you know, he, he can act if the right person is there to direct them and get the goods. There was something very callous about the way he treated archetype characters. Jimmy Olsen. If you want to cheat, if you want to treat Perry, Perry. Uh, I don't know. And, 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 you know, you want to blame Josh. Josh was the cleanup man. Stop. Josh was here just to make this thing seasonable. Um, yeah. Josh didn't write this. I didn't write this. Yeah. I think the end of that movie with that, those plants growing, that, that was stupid. Yeah. I mean, the hate towards him is, is it's you know, think of the situation, man. Think of the situation. I've been brought in here to do what? You're the cleanup yeah. man. You're the cleanup man. Yeah. Whoever came in and did something to it, and and it will still be the same problem, and because you got two, yes, yeah, two different styles working. Yeah. You, you're the cleanup man. How am I supposed to clean this up? It's not Josh's fault. He gave how us can, Avengers. He gave us how, Avengers. <laughs> how can how can Michael Jackson go on stage after Prince? After Prince <laughs> just did his thing, and now hear this guy coming up talking about Lolly? Are you crazy? <laughs> Michael yeah. can't follow Prince. Nah. Now, Prince can follow Michael. He'll make you forget Michael was even up here. <laughs> because it's a different show. Yeah, man. And unfortunately, there's some of us in society who saw what it was. It was a cleanup job. Hey, Josh, you got a paycheck? God bless you. Yeah. God bless him. Yeah. Yeah. For many, this movie is unsalvageable. Yeah, it is. And does not Josh, need to Josh be is... pushed. Oh, that's right. And ladies and gentlemen, the marketing for the HBO, that's more money in the... Ladies and gentlemen, I said it on the AK News, they'll never recoup this money. Well, not, this is Marathon Recoup. And then they need well, another hit show. We're going to have to take some money from that hit show and pay for this. But what That's I, how they're gonna I, have to I, live I, now. They're gonna promote HBO Max, and they're gonna P, leverage. Pete, 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 you don't Snyder's think Pete, you don't think Spider-Man is paying for some of those failed 
projects over at Sony? Of course it is. Mm. Of course it is. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how it works yeah. in this house. That's the kid that makes money. You broke, you broke, and you broke. Yeah. Here, give me some of your money. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You're still going to make money, but I got to fix this. Whatever they were, whatever they, they were going to do with regards to spending money on marketing for HBO Max, they're just going to throw Zack Snyder's uh, image, imagery in there and, you know, and make it look real nice. They're not going to spend any extra money. So they, they, they'll, be, they'll be fine, if, I think, in that regard. Ladies and gentlemen, the count has been 10 exhales talking <laughs> about this topic. This topic ain't going away. I said it. Other places, I'm saying it here. We're just at the beginning of this. And, P, I don't know about you. I just want to sit back and see what the um, Schneider has. I already saw it on IG. These guys act like, we won, we won, we won. And then, of course, the other people chiming in. What did you win? Well, I mean, what, again. I mean, they, people, what they, did you they, win? They, they, wanted some, they wanted to see what Zach had did, what originally he had. And story. would that have would that have saved those movies? My answer to you is no. No. BVS no, was no. so BVS was so devastating profit wise. You'll no, never no, make no, Tracy, that back. There's people out there that when I read some of the comments in IG and on and on in, in Twitter, and it's people crazy. talking about BVS was one of the best films. What, I, yo, I I can't help but laugh every time. I can't help point, but it's laugh not even, at it's that. Not even, it's not even funny no more. Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> For real. It's like, what have you seen? Give me a list of what you've seen and tell me, me why BVS is on top of that. Let me see the movies. Yeah, yeah. So, BVS is Star Wars? What? BVS is Empire Strikes Back? <laughs> what? Is BVS is Charlton Heston's Ten Commandments? What? 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 I'm you kidding me? BVS is The Exorcist? No. What, what are we talking about? AP Stop 100. AP Stop 10. Let's go. BVS yeah. is what? What? You, you're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> you're crazy. I, I, I can't. I can't. I will not. I guarantee I'll, that the conversation will be horrible. <laughs> it'll be almost that. comedic. It, 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 <laughs> it, it'll, be, it'll be unsustainable. I, what they say, to, I can't. I can't. But I can't. <laughs> I can't talk to you because I it's, don't know. This is like Hulk smash for two hours. <laughs> yeah, Hulk smash for two hours. Just him breaking up a car. What is? What the hell is this? Yeah. yeah. I've seen it's bad sad. movies. I'm not saying it was bad. I'm just saying. See, with Justice League, the whole concept went wrong. It's only because once I found out, and there was a couple of things. There was a couple of elements that you brought up. I remember sitting in the movie theaters. Why is Batman, Bruce Wayne, we love him a little bit less than Steve Rogers, why is Batman having vision? Well, a retort to that would be that it really wasn't a vision. Flash went back in time. Why did Superman fly through the stuff, save Lois, and smash that guy through the building and kill that African guy? He just, just killed him. Boom. <laughs> what? What? But but he couldn't save Jimmy Olsen. Whoa, what was that? You know what, ladies and gentlemen? This thing makes you want to go back and watch Justice League all over again. Yeah. See, the, but then somebody, but see, somebody goes, nah, when, you know, that is the, nah. That is one of the most memorable things. It's, it, it's crazy how the memories that I have of Superman. Little, is, little you know, things stick out. Little the, things yeah, stick out. Yeah, yeah. And that thing, that behavior... Is unrecognizable. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Superman, that behavior is un unrecognizable. Superman coming to save Lois and leave everyone else to die? I'm sorry, my friend. That is not Superman. I don't care. Unless as an evil Superman, I, be I would believe it if it was Superman 3. Yes, I believe it. He did that. Yeah. The main man, Ultraman, or Lobo. Yeah. Like, what? what? And, and, and then, to, to, to me, it's the... Well, Zach, this is what I'm doing. You don't like it. Don't watch my movie. That seems to keep coming on. This is what I'm doing. You don't like it. Don't watch my movie. Some smart guy in WB said this. Let's call it Zack Snyder's 
Justice League. Because this is and you know what? Movie. Now that you say it's it, not now that you say it like that, you're right. You're right. Now that you say it like that, yeah, this is his Justice League. Yeah, this is not ours. And if you don't like it, don't watch my movie. Ladies and gentlemen, our time is up. I see the guy walking around the studio. Oh, man, I miss those days <laughs> when the janitor was start saying, you guys still here? Oh, man. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, like still I said. Doing that if we, imagine what we would kept on doing it, man. Forget about it. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, nostalgia time, nostalgia time. Ladies and gentlemen, Zack Snyder's Justice League, HBO Max 2021. This conversation ain't even over. <laughs> all we're gonna it do is right just now, begun. <laughs> Dude, now it gets crazy. <laughs> all we're gonna do is say, "Hold on to your hat." Yeah, wow, ladies and gentlemen, this is Tracy at Spidey four nine nine four with Pablo Solano, No Generation. We're gonna sign off, and we're gonna see you soon about this, and we're gonna hope that uh, we get some other stories. To do special reports on. And uh, we'll see you soon. Good night.